First of all, I want to talk just a little bit about Mayor Jackson. Uh, it was Mayor Jackson's initiative to reach high school students by CPP's apprenticeship program. My vision was to expand that program to reach all the other divisions, Cleveland Water, Water Pollution Control, and maybe even customer service going forward. And so this was my way just of reaching more high school students so that we'd be able to make an impact to them as they look for gainful employment, as we start to look at apprenticeships and skills and job readiness skills and all of those things. So my vision was simply to just expand the program, keep the program successful uh, for many more years to come. I'm excited about the program and I'm excited about these young people and the opportunity that they have. My success for the program is exactly why we're here to talk about the graduation of the first Cleveland Water Distribution Program. It is absolutely phenomenal to go through 12, 13 months of the competencies of water distribution, meter operations, hydraulics, and showing those competencies, and then being able at the end of that to say, I am ready to work for the Division of Water, and particularly the Department of Public Utilities. So it's just a great opportunity, and that's what we do here. We give opportunities. What you make of it is all upon you. Some advice that I would give, um, just because you start there does not mean that you have to finish there. You are looking at a person that started in pipe repair, and now you're looking at the director of public utilities. So what I want them to do is as the first class that they have a responsibility, it's special to be the first class, because you're the first one to do it. But you also, it is also incumbent upon you to help others so that the program continues to be a success because you are the first, so you have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to help others because when we put this program together, we knew that we would have the skilled set people, the dedicated staff, to make sure that we give them the tools to be successful. So I wanna say congratulations uh, to you on a job well done. We certainly look forward to great things from you. Um, you get to make a difference. I want you to listen very closely, all my young people out there. You get to make a difference as it relates to the quality of life. That means you get to provide safe drinking water to 1.4 million people. And to be able to do that, you have to take that very seriously. I take it very seriously, so I want them to help me have the Water Department and Department of Public Utilities continue to be a viable, reliable, sustainable, affordable utility with a great focus on customer service to make the city of Cleveland a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Years ago, we used to rotate new repairmen through hydraulics, through meters, through pipes, but we never really had anything formal like this and uh, it was hard to conceive that we were able to come up with. This has been a beautiful program, it really has. It's worked out tremendously for us. Well, we had 10 students survive the program, which is awesome. They now come in and join our workforce and will be productive employees. And from day one, as they graduate and become new repairmen, they'll know what they're doing. And they're much more well-rounded than most employees coming in new into pipe repair in that they've seen many different facets of our operation and hopefully have the opportunity to move to some of the different operations in their years and career with CWD. Again, I think one of the great things is the chance that they have, have had to see different parts of our operation. Keep an open mind, you know, look for opportunities to do some different things in the division down the road. Um, hard work is always a good approach. Um, and uh, you have curiosity about your job. We're about to put them out on the street and we're very happy. Um, not that they haven't been out on the street, but they'll be out as permanent employees. They'll be given shift work, they'll be giving their assignments and jobs over the next few weeks. As being young adults, they're about to start the rest of their lives working out into the field and making some money. So the thing we try to make sure that they understand is you can do a lot of things here, especially having shift work. If you want to go to college, um, you want to try to you know, advance yourself here. Uh, one of the big things we tell them is to work the midnight shift 
Go to college during the day, take a few classes. When you get there, you pay attention to the people who've been here a long time. Try to grasp all the knowledge you can because as they leave, you're the person that's going to be teaching the next generation. And we definitely want you to be able to do that in the manner where you're able to take that knowledge you've accumulated from the people before you. I was in another program called ACO through my school and the man who ran it, Curtis Trust, recommended me to this program. From Glenville, I believe that me and one other person had finished it. So he felt like since we committed to that program that we would do good in this program. Well, I was able to support myself, be more independent, buy my own things, and also support my family members and my mom and stuff. So it definitely helped me in a long way for how we've been here. The apprenticeship program has impacted our operation as such that it has brought an infusion of youth to our section, and they have more or less uh, inspired some of our older workers to work a little harder. Our um, apprentices are now entered in the um, AWWA Ohio section, and they are our TAP team, and they will be representing the Cleveland Water Department September the 11th. We tell our apprentices every day to um, just be on time, be courteous, and just work with a smile. I think my most memorable moment was uh, Carnita Williams. She was with the crew doing a chlorination. And there's a specific way we do it. We have to flush for so long, be able to get the chlorine down to one end of the main. And it was funny because she was with two men who had done this before and had some really good experience. And for some reason, they were just having a really hard time. But she was just going right at it. She was making her adjustments properly. And she really put some thought into it. And you could tell she was really into what she was doing. And in my mind that day, she actually made those guys look kind of bad. <laughs> I think the program in general is a success story. The, the young people that we're bringing in, and I want to call them kids, but they're really not. These are young people. They're coming in. They're hungry. They want to learn. They want to do. And they're really picking this up quickly. They're picking it up a lot faster than any of us really figured that they would. So I'm really excited to see the next round of candidates come in and, and see where they come from because the first ones really set the bar. Come to work every day on time. Keep your head down, plow forward. You'll be amazed at the opportunities that will be afforded to you if you stay with the Division of Water. Congratulations, I salute you and again you're looking at a pipe repairman to director of public utilities your futures look bright thank, thank you mayor frank jackson and director david for this opportunity, opportunity. Woo! Yeah,